guys. Welcome back. Sosa here from Sosa Productions and uh, today we're going to be making some turkey knuckles. Yeah, um, I don't know if you ever heard of turkey knuckles. They're real, real tough pieces of meat from the turkey, I guess. They're going to um, they're going to be delicious when we get done with them. But yeah, of course you're going to need some turkey knuckles. I got them soaking in here for about an hour and some little apple cider vinegar, a little Kiko Man soy sauce, and a little teriyaki sauce. Um, just for a little marinade. You don't necessarily need those, but um, just give it a little more flavor. Just about an hour is good. You need an onion, a green pepper, definitely. These are optional with your ginger. And a few garlic cloves, three or four. Um, then you got all your seasonings, which is black pepper, garlic powder, onion powder, and rosemary, some seasoning salt. Uh, these are lemon peels, California lemon peels. And um, just for, you know, lemon pepper, you know, you can use that. But uh, this just has no salt in it. Just lemon, straight lemon peels and some ginger, the ground ginger, just like the ginger there. And then some, got some ground turmeric. And uh, yeah, we're gonna get these vegetables all chopped up. We're gonna dice them, you know, cut them the long way in little small squares, little small, small pieces. And gonna get back with you guys, show you how to put it together. Hey guys, back real quick because there's a couple of things I forgot to mention. Um, this here is approximately four and a half pounds of uh, turkey knuckles. I'm not using the whole onion, just about three slices off of it. And I'll probably remove these outsides. Oh so yeah, just a three. About a few slices of onion, I'm going to dice these and about half of the green pepper. And I'm going to, I usually take the little inside, I don't know if you guys can see, a little inside, a little root umbilical cord thing. I usually take that out the garlic. You don't have to, I see most people just leave them in. Then I cut the ginger into these pieces like this and dice those. And, um, and I'm going to be making these in a crock pot. Uh, I'm going to have it up high just so it doesn't take so long. But you can do it low too. But first I'm going to season them and put them in a the pan. But you guys will be back for that part. See you in a second. Hey guys. We back. Hey you guys. <laughs> All right, now we're gonna pour some of this liquid off some of our marinade off of this uh, of these turkey knuckles. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then gonna get on with our seasonings. Uh, we always. Take it a little easy on the seasoning salt. About four pounds in there, so we're gonna have to have some. The um, pepper. Like pepper. Got our onion powder. Garlic powder. Uh, rosemary's. Rosemary's is real good on any kind of bird. Usually break them up pretty nicely. And, oh yeah, wash your hands, guys. Make sure you wash your hands. I washed my hands up here. I could have showed you that too. In case you guys want some. And it's the California lemon peels. It'd be a little heavy with that, but it's kind of costly. <laughs> Ginger, brown ginger, about the same as the California 
This is a uh, ground turmeric. You don't want to put too much because you don't want it to be orange. And we got our crock pot already on, so on high. And we uh, want to start our pan. We're going to put this butter in a pan. Got a pan right here. Uh, it's old faithful. It's kind of beat up, but I like it. Um, yeah, then we're gonna we're gonna throw our butter and our vegetables in here. We're gonna soften those vegetables up. Oh yeah, we got our vegetables all diced up nicely. This is uh, ginger, garlic. I only ended up using maybe three garlics um, instead of the four. Once I get to cutting it, it looks bigger than what I thought. I didn't, I don't think I used, I used just about all of the green pepper, but I kind of just stopped on the onions because you can kind of see how much you guys like. If you like, if you guys like a lot of onions, then I mean, just, you know, go for it. Not going to hurt, just going to add more flavor. But you know, we got the kids eating these and well, kids be, uh, not wanting the crunchy vegetable. I'm kind of like the kids in that way. I don't really like too much crunchy on my food. Hey, yeah, let me get you guys over here to the... Well, let me mix these seasonings up first. Here. Look out. Gonna go, go ahead and go for it with the... Well, you're gonna have to have your hands washed so you can go and mix your seasonings in here. I'm going to put all these vegetables in the pan so they can soften up with the butter. I'm going to slide you guys over so you guys can see, see better. There we go. I think we got a little better angle. A little more light for you guys. I didn't. My bad on that. So here you go. Uh, I'm making sure these vegetables get soft a little bit. They're gonna be cooking for a nice minute, so still gonna be all right. I'm gonna add uh, the knuckles. the pan try to get a nice sear on those sear them to get them get that little nice sear taste and plus it takes a lot longer if you don't put them in the pan i mean you can just go right to the crock pot but it's gonna take you a little longer if you don't brown them a little bit first and uh you're gonna get these all browned up and seared up and gonna throw them in the crock pot you're gonna stir them and Get the best nice vegetable tastes on them. And I'll bring you guys back when we when those get brown. It's gonna be about three minutes, excuse me, just a three, five minutes. And we'll bring you guys back and show you as they go into the crock pot. Alright guys. We back. It's been turkey knuckles been browning in this pan for about five, uh, five, six, seven minutes, something like that. I don't have a timer on, but uh, now we're gonna put them into this crock pot. Make sure we get all of this. We're gonna be sitting in this crock pot. Yep, yeah. oops. I don't know what my video did, but yeah, we're back in this. Uh, we're gonna sit in here for probably like an hour or two hours, just depending on how long you browned them. But uh, we're gonna have it on high, so we're gonna try to get them done. 
soon as possible. You can do it on low if you want, if you're waking up in the morning and starting them or something for the afternoon. And yeah, we're gonna, when we were browning them too, you remember the liquid we poured off of them. If they start drying out, you can pour some of the liquid, but I didn't use all of it, but I poured some of it back in there. You can, you pour it in there while, while you're softening your vegetables too. Didn't mention that, but sometimes I do it like that. But now we're gonna let these do their thing and we'll be back to check them out. And you know, let them soft, get soft and fall off the bone. That's when they start getting ready. But um, yeah, see you guys in a minute. Hello everyone, we are back. And right now we're about at the two hour mark. Been cooking for a nice minute here. And what we're gonna do at this point is, got a little glass here and take about Something like a teaspoon of flour. Drop it in this glass. Have another little half teaspoon. Depending on how thick it's gonna, you're gonna make it. We're gonna make a little gravy. A little bit of gravy. And um, just so it don't water down too much, I. I like to add a little uh, onion powder and um, garlic powder to my gravy. Then you can add whatever you like to. Put a little lemon peels in there. Just a little bit of stuff, just to keep, just to make sure it doesn't water it down. rosemary and now I like to take a fork and some water I usually use a jug of water or something to cook with it's not really too good keen on um, sink water I'm gonna, gonna beat that up get that flour nice and dissolved you can also add some crushed red peppers if you want it to be a little spicy sometimes i do that but this time i wasn't making it real spicy Try to just make sure there's no chunks of flour the reason using the fork that's why i use a glass too so i won't so i can see in there you know i mean you can pretty much see I'm gonna open up our turkey knuckles and take our gravy mixture here and go and put it right on in there. Stir it in. Still a little tough here. But they're getting to cooking now. They're gonna be breaking up any minute now. You can also make these in a regular pot on the stove with the oh, top yeah, of it. Now it's gonna thicken up a little bit while it's cooking. So you get more gravy. We're gonna make some rice to go with these. Turkey knuckles and rice. But uh, I mean, you can make mashed potatoes or whatever you wanna put them on. But uh, yeah, we're gonna let that go on cook for about another hour maybe or a little less or we'll bring you back here and let you know see you in a sec all right guys we back um we had about three and a half hours in the crock pot As you can see there um Coming apart pretty nicely. You gotta um, take the fork and you break them a little bit when they get soft like that. You can 
break them up with the fork or if you got a metal metal spatula you can smush them or smush them around and get the, the meat off real loose i'm just gonna pour over the rice real nicely gravy that's gravy that we made in there keep it stirring you know you can the longer you cook it the more they're gonna fall apart but some people like it a little where you got the little together so you can bite them off the bite them off the bone i like that a little bit where you bite the meat off and it'll come off you know that's real because they got a lot of flavor in them now we're going to put our rice on um for this i'm going to use i'm just going to use some bag rices submerge them down in there got my jug of water water in here you know people gonna be like you're spending too much money on water i mean if you don't got it if, you, if we don't got it i mean i would boil some water and you know let it uh set for a second i mean and you can use you know regular rice i just this is so so much easier if i had more people though i'd probably use the bag regular just regular rice and cook it out but yeah now we got this rice on we're gonna let that cook let the turkey knuckles finish up i was gonna say too you can add some little pepper in there when the rice get done i'm gonna put some butter and a little salt and a little pepper in it so it's gonna have some more in the rice the salt and pepper and butter and yeah Get back with you in a minute when it's almost, when it's all done here. Okay, guys. Finally, we back. It's been about, uh, about four hours since we started cooking. Now, we're knuckles are good and done. pretty good and broke apart you know some people in the house might like them broke all the way down some people like them a little more together so we just got like an in-between going on here it's not like maybe a little bit of rice down Turkey knuckles out of there. Let me get us some nice. Can y'all see that? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, good things take a little while most of the time. But it's going to be so good, I promise you. But yeah, you just get your nice. You don't want some gravy on there. Go with it. Put it over your rice and there you have it. Turkey knuckles and rice. Yep. It's going to be good. Alright guys. Till next time. You guys have a good day. And enjoy your food. See you later.